I made some, some mistakes in my previous video, so I think it's time we clear them up. Hello guys, what is up, this is Cowie, and welcome back to the Vulture SMP Snapshot server, where we do our testing and things for 1.9. And I showed you guys a video about all the new scoreboard features of 15W32, and I made a mistake. And this was pointed out to me by a commenter uh, by the name of Skyliner W. He pointed out that you can't actually um, you can't actually target multiple entities like this. And I don't know how I overlooked that. I should have realized. I thought that they'd made some sort of exception, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We I need to tell you guys that that was wrong first. And thanks to Skyliner, I now have this system to fix that. So, uh, once again, we are going to show the tags that I have on me right now. I have the test tag that I've added to myself. And if we look in this command, we're testing for, or we think we're testing for, a test and a test1 tag. Now, this should fail, because I only have test, and of course, it does fail. The player cannot be found. But... This one here is testing for test 1 and tag test, so it should fail. We'd expect it to fail, because we only have test, but it succeeds. And the reason for that is, because using this, um, this thing or image or whatever, it only looks for the last pr uh, parameter that you have in your command. So it ignores this first one, so this command really, all it's doing is running that. And of course, I do have my test tag on, so it will succeed. And that is what I thought was working, but it was not working. So what Skyliner W came up with was this way of tracking multiple uh, tags accurately. So what this does is it does score players uh, tag at A, add test 2, and test 3. It will do that uh, successively, like straight after each other in succession. And then this one here is a bit more complex. Scoreboard players tag add at A, blah, 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 test 4. And it will only do that if the player or the object is carrying the tags test2 and test3, which I will be from these previous command blocks. So if we go ahead and run that one, it will add test2 and test3, and the data tag does not match for Cowie because I did something wrong. I'll be back. I just copy and pasted that command block over here, pressed it, and it worked. I may have had these placed down in the wrong order and they were firing in the wrong order. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But we know that this did work successfully. So now, if we run the command... Where did it go? Run me. There we go. Um, we have all those test tags on us now and we should be able to test for the test 4. And that is basically saying... All test 4 is saying is that test 2 and test 3 are both present on that player. So this works quite well as a workaround for this. Hopefully... Sooner or later, there is actually a way to test for um, multiple tags in one command. I don't see it happening though, unfortunately, but hopefully, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can get something like with how we can track for multiple scoreboard objectives. But, just wanted to clear that up with you guys, and once again, special thanks to Skyliner W. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, right? do whatever you want to do. It all does help. See you guys next time.